Yo, what up, guys? Today we are going to be making Active Arrow. This is a little rundown of what I did. So I just used basic stuff to get a good idea last night. I used double-sided tape here. I did use a little paper clip to poke through the straw and servo here. But I took the original mount off this RC car, off the Phaser Mark II AMG body. I used some cardboard, and I control the servo with the switch. Pretty soon I'll be able to control it with my throttle. But I don't have the splitter yet that's coming in pretty soon. But I just used some straw, double-sided tape, paper clip, and just cardboard. And I made this thing. But for now, I am going to be following these instructions I drew up at school. As you can see, I have the thing drew out. The little stand here. With the little mounts, I'm going to do wings, wings designs, some servo arms so I can connect it to here instead of using a straw. But I'm going to go try it out with cardboard first. So let's get the first designs done, such as the spoiler, I would say. And let's just get right into it. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm actually going to take, hang on, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off what I have here with the servo and stuff, so I'm going to do that right now, lock this off, bing bada boom. Now, the design I want to go for, instead of using the top here, instead of using the top, I'm actually going to be using these little flaps down here, so I might have to move the servo to the lower part of the car, which I might have to cut out in the future, but it would work very well right here, I would say, to the Mercedes AMG logo. But... I need to be able to use these holes as little screw points so the car can stay in place. That's where the pivot point's going to be, and then the servo is going to be lifting it from the rear. So it's going to go eh, 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 moving from here. So I think I gotta move the servo. I'm gonna get some cardboard cut up, get it all ready for this. Get it all ready, move the servo. Cut out the cardboard to the exact patterns I want here with the pivot points. And let's see how it works. And let's see if I have any screws to fit in there. If not, I'll try and use pins. And if pins don't work, I'll definitely screw it in there. So let's, let's figure this thing out. So what I just did was I made some measurements. Here I have my line. I got my one part where I'm going to stick the wedge. The middle. And the other part so I can map it all nice. This line here is going to be the part where I'm going to cut. So I have the two sides, which it looks like it's almost exactly down the middle. So in case if I do mess up, I have another piece. But I'm <laughs> sorry, remote. The remote just went off. But I will be going to map exactly this design. If it doesn't work, I have another piece here. And I can always cut out the exact same length and stuff for this cardboard so i'm pretty sure i got exactly the layout i want so what i'm gonna do is i have the joint here and a joint here joint there and there and i have the cut out here so it goes like this so i'm gonna cut it out next Let's try that out boom there we go guys so i did the best of the ability i could with cutting it out and then adding the little hinges I drew over there. I found a way to attach it with these pins. Which actually. It does move. So I'm going to hook up the servo. We're going to see if it. Moves nicely with the servo. I'm going to stick it like right there. And the way it sits. In my opinion that's pretty good. The way it just like. Bobs up and then sends down so. I'm going to make this like the neutral. 
Maybe I'll add some adjustments so it can go higher. Because this looks kind of whack. But we'll go doink. Doink when breaking. And then neutral. Throttle. Break. So I'm going to set up the servo right now. I'm going to stick it. Stick it in there just like this. And we're going to stick the servo in just like this. Or like this. I haven't decided yet. Probably like this. It's going to stick for now. And then I'll set up another one of these straw mechanisms I did. Until I get the new ball joints. But this is looking pretty good. I'll make some 3D prints. So I can attach it and stuff. Maybe next time I'll add a little thing that connects here. And then it connects to the spoiler. Making it two hinges instead. Like two of these hinges. But I'm gonna post another, I'm gonna post the picture of that in a bit. But yeah, no, I think this thing's actually going to come out really well the way it's coming out on cardboard. And then I'll toss the files into a 3D print, stick it on the Ender 3, and I think we should be good. Test it out with that. I'm gonna add a little box here to stick the uh, little ball joint or the straw. So we could just push it right up like this. And down, up, down, up, down. Yo, I just did the best thing ever. So, with another design just like this. Some double-sided tape again. More double-sided tape. Straw. And some cardboard. I made a latch here, which I'm a 3D print. Make a little box, just like in my design over there. But, I managed to get it to the perfect angles. So, we're in the racing form here. Nice and flat will create arrow. Neutral and then break. Currently don't have the throttle right now because But it works. And it works really well. So next part I will be getting into the modeling of the process. Get on the 3D printer and then I'll get right back to you guys right after that. But I use the same pop little pin there. I melted it and used the X-Acto knife. And it, it, it's super simple here. But yeah, this is what's going on. Pretty soon I'm gonna make a front splitter. And we're gonna be ready for the race day. I can't wait, dude. This is so cool. I can't stop playing with it. So I just finished a design of it. It's kind of raining right now. My desk is a mess because I was getting into it. I finished a 3D modeling process. This was the first design. The 3D printer actually failed, but I realized that it just it was just going to go completely wrong because it actually did not line up whatsoever to the joints I needed it to. So I don't know what happened. My GoPro just died on me, but battery said it was low. But I hopped into the modeling software, I took this design, made it a tad bit better with this. I don't know what was going on with my GoPro, but we're back now. So basically what I did here was, I hopped into the 3D modeling software, I made these hinges right here. I made multiple, I'll put this in the description down below, I'll post these. But what I did was I attached it to the original, original little like spoiler piece, so it all works. And then I took some parts from a kit here. I'll see if I can get a description of that for you. But I took some washers, some nuts, and the screws. And it just fits in there nice and nice. I do have to tighten this. That's a bit loose. But after all that, I connected the servo to a piece of spoon with double-sided tape. With a straw and a hole for the screw. And another screw here I made in the original thing. And now, when I give it throttle, it actually works. So right now, I can't test it right now because it is thundering, but I do have a splitter I recently got for the RC car and some new batteries, so I'm going to test those out. But it works. I give it break, and then throttle. It goes down, throttle, break. 
And if I really want to make it any go, go any higher, what I would do is extend this arm and it can go lower, lower, and then higher. But I feel like this is good enough for me because it actually moves. And I feel like it will actually make a big difference. So when you're driving, boom, nice and flat, and then break. Also, what I did here for this design, this thing looks a little bit wonky. But when you give it throttle, air suction right there. Creating like a little like pull down and up to suck the car down still. But when it breaks, it will actually like break using the air and then just sitting neutral air will still come underneath it so i could show you here air still will go underneath but yeah no it, it's working great i'll do some tests on this car and then pretty soon in another video i'm gonna make a little splitter here starting with cardboard and then hop into 3d modeling software that should be made for any car though so hopefully I can get this thing done and then it, it works. I just got to get the control arms instead of using a straw for now. So.